Hello everyone, so today we are going to talk about the novel uh, Heart of Darkness, which is about colonialism, uh, which is written by Joseph Conrad. Let's talk a bit about Joseph Conrad. So Joseph Conrad was a Polish British writer uh, who was uh, regarded as one of the greatest novelists uh, to write in the English language, although he was not fluent in the English language in his 20s, later on he became a master of uh, fiction and and uh, realism uh, writings and uh, among his works and his uh, words uh, words reading works uh, we can mention heart of darkness uh, stromo the secret agent a lord jim and others moreover uh, conrad was an emotional man and uh, he was a subject for his own fits uh, of depression, uh, self-doubt, uh, and pessimism. Uh, moreover, uh, he was a sailor. He travels uh, around the world uh, on a on a boat uh, with a, with a, with a, with, a, with an equipage. Uh, and the thing which helped him to discover uh, new places and diverse cultures and uh, which is of course influenced his, uh, his uh, lifestyle and also his writing style. Let's move on to the plot of the story. And Heart of Darkness surrounds uh, around Malo who is uh, an introspective sailor who went to the Congo uh, as a part of a uh, missionary mission to meet uh, Mr. Kurtz, uh, who is a former missionary in 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 the Congo River. So along uh, this this journey, he realizes the brutality and inefficiency of the the company's station, the company's station, which is uh, like a working camp, uh, which is abusing the natives and. Uh, the inhabitants of the land to work or die, uh, which is slavery, of course, uh, and uh, the uh, over uh, working in in bad manners, uh, in in bad uh, and uh, receiving ill treatment, uh, which is of course the thing uh, which annoyed and uh, doesn't like it. Uh, uh, I mean, Marlow doesn't like this, this, these things uh, about this missionary uh, journey. Uh, later on, he will meet a Mr. Kurtz, a Mr. Kurtz, uh, who is the important figure in in the novel from the beginning to the end, because uh, the old uh, subjects are uh, like uh, preparing us uh, to meet this, uh, this. Uh, this marvelous man, this uh, this great man, uh, who of whom Marlowe said uh, in a chapter, uh, this man uh, has really enlarged my mind, and this is a great thing because um, uh, he was very special and he was idealistic and uh, also a poet. Uh, so, but uh, in the end. Uh, he will he will die uh, in a strange way uh, because he couldn't resist the power the natural power and immensity of nature of the space uh, and uh, saying uh, his final words uh, the horror the horror uh, if, uh, uh, which is uh, very famous and many uh, critics and uh, analysts anal anal analysts uh, said many things about this thing, the horror, the horror, and uh, personally I understand that he was astonished from the immensity of the space because the space itself doesn't want the, the white man and the, the colonist uh, uh, to stay in that country and to do whatever he, he likes in, in the native of that country uh, uh, just like that for for no reason and just uh, for uh, the sake of of collecting ivory and the other uh, natural uh, wealth of the country in the uh, under the, the 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 pretext of the of the uh, of the enlightening mission or something like that.
so I want to, to finish uh, my before I I finish my video. I want to, to mention some uh, main themes uh, discussed in the the novel: colonialism, uh, Eurocentrism, um, madness uh, of of Kurtz uh, because he uh, he had gone mad uh, in the end, uh, and uh, human evil. Uh, and uh, and that's all. And maybe there is other other uh, other uh, themes you can you can find it by reading the novel yourself. And I want to finish my video with a quote. Uh, and uh, that's and from this quote you will understand what happens to Kurtz and why I said that uh, he was astonished from from nature because nature and that space was strange for them because something new. And it was immense, and they were bombarding things. Uh, I mean, villages and and doing this and like destroying nature. But nature stand. Nature uh, doesn't uh, move from 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 that place. Uh, in the opposite, it resists uh, the 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 power of the of the science of the uh, of the. Of the uh, of the white man who is uh, brought uh, to to that land to destroy nature and to abuse uh, its uh, its wealth and of course this is uh, this is wrong and and uh, and that's why uh, uh, Conrad uh, written this work uh, to 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 say it in the in the voice of many uh, people who who have experience colonialism uh, and who who, who are uh, uh, really uh, against this uh, mentality and this uh, this era in general so i want to finish with this quote about mr curse someone said but his soul was mad being alone in the wilderness it had looked within itself and by heavens i tell you it had gone mad and that's all. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you like it and uh, share it with your friends.